Hello, I've got uh, I've got an email here. Lady writes to me and says, "Hi, uh, I'm looking for ways to improve my deep breathing and expand my lungs." Uh, but but uh, do you have any? That was the question. I'm 71 years old and quite active, but do have a challenge with my lungs. Okay. Well, as it turns out, many people have challenges with their lungs. They have challenges with breathing and so on. In fact, in fact, uh, in my experience, that's more than many. It may be. It may even be most because you know, I mean, you know over time, as your breathing may be, become more restricted uh, with age and all of that. A couple of things are happening. One, one is the age factor, yeah. But another is, and we all do this, we have collected ever since childhood a bunch of unresolved emotional issues. And they show up physically, and often it's in the breath. We, we don't realize it because we just breathe normally and very gradually and very subtly as our system becomes burdened with all these unresolved emotional issues. Various things show up, diseases show up, uh, aches and pains and symptoms and this kind of thing show up as, as time goes on, partly as a result of aging, but largely, my experience, largely as a result of your system having to deal with all of these unresolved emotional things that that show up. So quite often your breathing starts to go down, but you don't even notice it because it's so gradual. Okay. But then one day, oh, I can't, I can't breathe like, like I used to. Okay. Gee, I wonder what happened. And that's, this lady wrote to me and that's typically what is happening. So what we need to do, because that's often, that's often very improvable, if not clear back to hundred percent capacity. All right. Regardless of your age. Um, what we need to do is look for what causes it. We don't want to necessarily go take a pill or do some other invasive procedure without first looking for what's what's the cause, okay? Um, and that cause, as I've alluded to already, is almost always emotional guilt. We're carrying around guilts and angers and grief and fears and the, and the like. Um, and they're, they're just showing up physically often in the breath. So you might ask yourself, if you know, well, when did this first start? Oh, I first noticed it, you know, back, uh, you know, 12 years ago. Oh, what was going on emotionally 12 years ago? Anything significant? Well, let me see. Yeah, I got divorced. Yeah. Or someone in the family died, or my pet passed away, or some other emotional issue got you know pretty strong and it didn't really get resolved. Well, there's a there's your first clue. You know, why don't you bring the unseen therapist in on the cause? That would be the unresolved emotions about whatever this traumatic incident or specific event we call it um, may be. And then you can bring in you can bring in the unseen therapist, resolve that, and check out your breath again. Oh, hey, I can I can breathe a little little better. Okay, now there's another way to do that. We have a we have an advanced course, the optimal EFT course, focuses on the unseen therapist and the use of that spiritual power within you. Um, and you can, we have a, a whole series of advanced lessons. You, you'll see links to that kind of thing, including links to my free ebook, my intro ebook, you know, in the, um, in the essential links below this, below this website. But you can, you can, um, you can, uh, you can address or explore less advanced lesson number 10. If you're one of our course members, I'll give you highlights here, whether or not you're a member. Um, and, and what you do is, is you ask the unseen therapist, what's going on here? What is the cause? What's causing all of this? And once you get used to doing that, 
once you develop that skill, which anyone can do, now you're asking the ultimate resource. You're asking the spiritual dimension who knows all things. What's going on here? Eh, it, it, it depends on how you communicate. And different people do this differently, but we teach all these things. Um, you'll get a notion. You'll get an image. You'll get an idea of some kind. Oh, oh, I'm remembering now when I was age 14, so-and-so happened and i had a hard time breathing for a while after that oh oh maybe that's it. and now you can bring an unseen therapist and start addressing it and so on and chances are you're going to get get better now we also have something if you want to just address symptoms only i've seen this work well um, a lot uh, we call it the constricted breathing technique cleverly enough okay and there's there is uh you know on my website there's there's descriptions of this of especially if you're using the tapping form, but you can also use it very effectively, even more effectively with the unseen therapist. Where you would, you know, take a few deep breaths like that to kind of stretch out your lungs as far as you can and assess, well, how, how close is that to my maximum? Well, maximum would be 10. Maybe I'm at a seven. All right. So then we bring in unseen therapists. And we, we ask unseen therapists just to come, not for cause, aim at the symptom. Have her bring in her loving light and so on to and surround your lungs with that. And then when you're done, take some more deep breath. Oh, now, oh, that's an eight or even a nine. Okay, well, you can try it again. Oh, I got to a 10. You might even get to 11 or 12 because you don't know what a 10 is. You haven't been there for a while. And 12 is actually where you would be you know so that uh, that gives you some clues but but it can it can really be done it can be done uh let me i'm trying to look at my notes here yeah it, it can be it can be done and i've seen it happen a lot you just need to learn how to do it and you know, i gave you some highlights here um and give it a try it'll probably bring you some good results hope that helps I'll see you next time.